Hey guys, welcome back to Aang Band for 1.3. Um, I just had a brief look at that last video uh, while I ate a snack. I'm going to play a bit more today, because all I have to do is really some errands before leaving town. Um, <clears throat> but I have been noticing the sound is really low for you guys. I just cranked, in OBS Studio, I'll even show you. The meter was down here, I just cranked it up to here. Um... Whether or not that will have the desired effect, I can't say because again, if this was a, if we were recording a window capture, maybe I could take the window capture off. Let's in case in case this is getting sound here, in case this is fucking things up. I'll do it later. Um, for now, let's assume this is gonna work. Uh, I've cranked the volume up of the sound in, in terms of what OBS Studio takes from uh, its recording. You might hear things a lot louder. Um, for all I know, it'll drown me out. Uh, but uh, you might not. Um, if it doesn't still, then I'll try removing the window uh, capture that I u usually use from the uh, behind the scenes there. Um, and uh, if that still doesn't do it, then then I'll be honest, I'm not really sure how to rectify the situation with this particular recording. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like I said, it just has to do with the fact that we're recording the full, sc the full display instead of the window. Because <clears throat> normally the sounds are not an issue. Bing. If you could hear that sound effect that we just used for light, um, it sounded like the exact opening note of the song Bad Horse from Dr. Horrible's Sing Along Blog. Oh, hey. It was the exact note. Bing, bing, ding, 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 ding. A lot of apprentices. Oh, there's a, there's a puff of smoke. Oh, that fucker got something from mine. Um, so, he got 578 gold from me, that cut purse. There you go, and then there's a puff of smoke, he disappears. You don't want to mess with these guys too much, you want to, uh, kill them quickly. On the other hand, that might be the guy who has my money. I think if you kill them, he can get it back, but I'm not entirely sure. I think you could in Angbae, so, or Moria, so I imagine you can here too. We're level 13, we can learn a new prayer. Let's do so. We learn the prayer of Sanctuary, let's see what that is. BB Sanctuary It's skipping ahead, eh? I mean, maybe it randomly learns one in here It's just kind of odd Um, question mark Attempts to put to sleep Each monster directly adjacent to you That's interesting Uniques and monsters that resist sleep are not affected Okay, good to know Have we used uh, every spell in our A book? Yes Let's, uh, let's actually Well, let's fucking finish looking around here first <laughs> I want my ship back. If that's you, who the hell took my 578 gold? I mean, I've got thousands, but still, come on. You're angering me. I don't need a warhammer. What is that? Healer. I want to close on him quickly because they can use a spell. So can the scout. He fired a magic missile at me. Let's go here and rest. Whoops. A dark elf. I don't know if we know anything about them. Did we kill him? He fled. Where'd he flee to? There he is. And a kobold. Jesus. Okay, let's rest again. Let's, um... Let's try the... Probably shouldn't. But let's try portal anyway, just to learn it and get experience. There we go. There was that sound again. Opening note from uh, Bad Horse. Okay. That was that. Let's go this way. I was going to rest to get our spell points back, but it looks like they're coming back anyway. Let's kill him, and then we'll deal with... Uh... What is he? Uh, I don't even remember. That icky thing, by the way, was worth 0 0.08 experience points at this point. It just shows you you can't... Uh... You can't linger... Whoa. 
You can't linger just to, oh, that must have been the, the guy who had my money. I got back 578 gold there. You can't just linger waiting to kill wimpy monsters on the low levels forever, you know? You gotta move on. Something showed up. Kobold. Oh, nice. That slowed me down, but we got new arrows. Let's drop some of our usual arrows and keep a... Uh, let's drop one. We'll keep the magic arrows and the 40 arrows. There we go. We're normal speed again. I didn't look at the time when I started recording this. Just make hundred percent sure we are recording, or I'll feel like a complete idiot. Yep, uh, nine. That's. Uh, I know it's not right, but let's say nine fifty. <laughs> we'll go to ten twenty. We'll try to go to ten twenty. I'm sorry. These uh these episodes are going to be abnormally scattered in their timing because I just don't have the uh, the clock to. Well, I don't. Know, I have a clock, but I don't have the timer to fall back on that I normally do with OBS. Additionally. I'm, uh, I'm having so much fun that it's, it's very likely I'm just going to totally ignore timings. Wield two. Wield one. That is a trap of some sort. What is it? A trap door. We don't want to mess with that right now. If it comes time to, uh, to descend, we can try... Uh, disarming it, and if we fail, we'll just fall to the next level anyway. <clears throat> but I don't want to descend just yet. Let's explore this whole level first. Even though we can technically, again, by my by my old keep-it-safe calculations, we could be on level 13 without a problem. So the light didn't really help us in here. It doesn't quite constitute a room, I guess. That weirdness still holds over from uh, Moria. That The idea that a light spell doesn't light up a certain region, it instead lights up... Uh, a room, a designated room, you know. He conjures up scary horrors. I'm afraid. I think I can't fight him while I'm afraid. Let's just try to find out. I'm too afraid to fight him, so I can't do it. Doesn't appear to have cost me a turn, though. But we can pray. We can cast Remove Fear. There you go. If I still have a potion of boldness, A, I should get rid of them. But B, um, that would have helped me there. A giant red frog. It seems to me they might drain our strength. Moves at normal speed. All right, uh, let's light up the room. Fuck. Or not. Oh, fuck. I tried to... Yeah. Yeah, he got our strength. So we're going to uh, have to go back to the town soon. We're going to have to try and buy a potion of... Uh, let's get it. A potion of restore strength, but it also occurred to me we could try getting a potion of restore intelligence. Maybe that would fix the uh, intelligence loss from the potion of nimbleness. Or poison as well, wood spiders. Get this steel rod. Um, let's cast slow poison. Don't have enough mana. Let's just go stand here for a minute. I guess we can't rest in that way. We gotta just... Oh, fuck me. Let's clear this whole room out first. Great. Now let's just try and pass our turn for a minute. See if we can get rid of that. Let's try casting... Do we not have enough mana, really? Cast A. Slow poison. Okay, so we're less poisoned. Oh, fuck. Where are these guys coming from? Poison's gone. All right, we're fine in here. Let's rest. All right, let's use one of these scrolls of treasure detection. A little bit of buried treasure. That's the important stuff. Rot jelly. He would try and get my food normally. Although I don't think he can. He touches you, he touches you. Yeah, I think he would. We forgot the prayer of sanctuary. That's not what he does. Jesus. He drained our intelligence further? What is going on? Our wisdom. We got a few things drained here, yeah. You see our strength and our wisdom are drained. Now, now that I look at it, in the left-hand column there, you can see our stats. Strength and wisdom are listed in yellow. 
Uh, intelligence is not. So I think the intelligence and dexterity swap was permanent. You can't restore it, is my guess. But the strength and wisdom, I think you can. Also, strength and wisdom are written in uh, lowercase letters. Intelligence, dexterity, and constitution are not. So that's interesting. Let's fire a fucking arrows at this fucking rot jelly that is just terrifying. It's not even worth that much. Why is it so goddamn hard to kill? And all for a dagger. Ah, we lost two of our prime stats there. I'm still not going to go yet. We're going to continue searching this level a little bit. Nighthawk, that's a new monster. Killed it. Small kobold, that's fine. We'll kill it easy. Gray mold spores trying to get us. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. Let's make this trip at least a little bit worthwhile by getting some more treasure and experience and shit. But uh, we're not going to go down a level. We're going to finish... Well, maybe we will. We're going to go down and, and then teleport back to town. We have to restore our stats. Um, wield, too. Wield, whoops. Wield, one. Great icky thing wakes up. I didn't even see it. It's a soldier, correct? I'm not worried about a soldier. A silver mouse is not that big a deal either. Although I, can't, I can replicate, but uh, even if it does, I can kill them easily. Let's just get it before it does so. <laughs> Should have done so with those as well. Silver mouse. Those aren't even white mice. They're different. Um, they're worth uh, 0.31. I mean, not really much. Okay. <clears throat> what is that? Let's use our rod of light. Oh, I pressed R for rod. Zap. N. East. And the... as a giant salamander. Those things are actually fucking vicious. Let's uh, back off from it. Let's also inscribe... Um, let's inscribe that rod to tell us when it's available again. Um, sorry, I'm going down through this thing again to figure out what, what inscription I use for that. Um, come on, man. It's a big rule book, and I don't mind that. Big rule books are good because they give you a lot of info. It's just, uh, I don't know if it's the best organized rule book. Fuck. Come on, man. Like, I don't know how to easily find... Fun we're looking for. It seems it might have been like GG, like good game. Preference files. There's all the fucking crap about preference files. Give me that. I don't want a version history. Give me the fucking things that I need. It's got to be after this. Command counts, command descriptions. Let's find and inscribe here. Only be a second, I promise you we're almost there. I've narrowed down the hunt. Inscribe an object. Um, in the section on inventory object election. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. Come on, man. Or we're not. You know what? We'll worry about it later. I'm sure it's good by now. Um, let's go close enough we can use our bow as well. Let's activate. A wand... Uh, well, you're right. Uh, no, it's zap. A steel rod. What's going on? Did it change? Oh, I... I that was the first time I used it. Okay, that's a rod of treasure detection. That's awesome. Okay. Not what I was trying to do. Let's take a look at that. Rod of treasure location. We're going to keep that for sure. Let's use the rod of light, though. Zap. Oh. 
That's what we're trying to do. Now it's fire a fucking number two arrow at apostrophe. <clears throat> okay. The giant salamander's targeted. You've learned the rune of slay animals. It pierces, because it's an animal, I guess, it pierces the giant salamander. Can we tell it's an animal here? Does it say that? It's a natural creature. Maybe that means an animal. Specifically says you've killed one of these creatures, a large black and yellow wizard, wizard lizard. You'd better run away. I'm not running away. I'm killing this fucking thing. Let's next. Oh, it died. One arrow did it. Okay. Maybe because it's an animal. Meh. Maybe we can take it for a second. We don't have room. Okay. Well, that rod is awesome. We'll, we'll get rid of the scrolls anyway, uh, because. I should just fucking drop the scrolls, really. They, they, don't, they do us no good anymore. You little bugger. <laughs> What's down here? What's down here? We could pick up two of those if we dropped the thing. A mall. I mean, again, just so we know. Drop the U. Get this. Bearing in mind that our strength is lowered and therefore it's giving us kind of false stats when we look at this. Uh, because our, our higher strength means we get more hits with our dagger. It's still only 16 for fuck's sake. I don't, I don't need a maul. Get the sling. A teak staff. Alright, let's drop the... Uh, let's read. Read a scroll of treasure detection. Let's drop... All of our scrolls of treasure detection because we have the rod now. And let's take a teak staff instead. Jesus Christ. I have no recollection of when I said I would quit. That's the fucking problem. Maybe 10 20 ish. Is that about right? I don't fucking know. Is that a scroll over there? I have nothing I need. That's a scroll's a treasure detection I just dropped. That's how short my memory is. <laughs> Let's activate. No, it's Z. Our rod of treasure location. You sense no buried treasure. You do sense the presence of objects, though. Might have been the objects we already found. Um, something I'm not seeing. And I assure you, I did see this. I played 4.0.5, like, in the last three months, for, for a brief minute, just to, again to compare it with Moria as a half-elf paladin, incidentally. And uh, I'm telling you, when I cast spells like that, that treasure detection, it gave me a boundary, like a region. It gave me like a green highlighted area to say that you did it within this region. I'm not sure why we're not seeing that right now. Let's, um, because we can, zap a rod of light. And then let's go fight them manually. scroll magic mapping not even not even to use right now it's not worth my time given how much well maybe there's there are occasionally hidden areas you cannot access unless you do this so let's uh drop you get let's read j yeah there's nothing out there oops don't leave that behind At the very very least we can learn learn a rune from it even if it's a cursed rune at least we'll learn it super important to bring this stuff back I like that aspect. I, I, again, that's new with 4.13, this idea of runes. Because it allows you to permanently identify weapons and such, enchantments, the same way you can potions and such. I think that's brilliant. And being able to identify the pluses and minuses on things, um, I think is also a really valuable... Let's go down one level, oh, and then we're going to teleport back to home. Get our ship fixed up. Something touches you. Oh, fuck. Something draining our wisdom even further. Um... 
know what? Let's not even mess with it. Let's just go down. And let's read a fucking word of recall. And let's inch forward to see what's in here, just in case. Don't want studded leather armor. Wield two. Ah, uh, I didn't get to get it. Wield one. Okay. Um, let's go over to... It's apparently raining out here. You hear that? Oh, I thought it was permanent. I was like, that's just a nice touch. There is, incidentally, we haven't seen it yet. Certainly in Moria, and presumably still in Angband. Definitely according to the rulebook in Angband, unless it's been changed in 4.1.3. There is a day-night cycle as well. Um, so it could be nighttime when we come up here and very hard to see. I hope they didn't eliminate that. It's a minor thing, but it's it's worthwhile, I think. But again, they may have just reasoned, hey, it's, it's just kind of boring. And maybe they're right, I don't know. Let us sell. Let us pray. There's nothing I want to sell here. I should have used my potion of true seeing to get that guy. Okay, um... We need to purchase, if we can. Is there a anything about restoring stats? I'm not seeing anything here. Are you? Nothing here that I can see. Let's move on. We have to restore two wisdom and one strength. Might, might pick up that longbow in, in favor of my shortbow. We'll see. Uh, let's go here. No, I... Eh? Ring of Protection plus 10. Might as well purchase that, right? Purchase 3. What do you mean I can't carry that many items? Okay, uh, we'll come back in a minute then. <laughs> we will come back and get it. Incidentally, the, the items in the shops change. The inventory changes every 10,000 turns. But while you're in town, that clock is not running. So it can't change while we're here. Potions of speed, kind of nice. Ring of ice. L. M. Uh, it lets us shoot ice, as what I recall from previous games of this. Reckless attacks is plus 3 to hit, plus 4 damage, minus 15 armor class. Nah, don't want that. Alright, he has nothing we need here. The Ring of Ice is interesting, i got to admit, but uh, not so interesting I'm going to get it right now. Please have... No, eh? I thought I, saw, I thought I said Restore Strength for a second, but it's Berserk Strength. This would give us back experience if we've lost it, but there's nothing to restore our strength or our intelligence right now, our wisdom. Is there? Is there? I don't think so. There's a slim possibility that as soon as you level up, your stuff restores. I'm not sure if that's true. Son of a gun, eh? Alright, well, let's figure out what we're gonna do as far as, uh. Jesus, fuck off, humans. Go away! Alright, we're gonna. Fuck it. Let's. Okay, fine. Let's enter. Let's sell him. What are we gonna sell him? Let's find out what the Teak Staff. Let's find out what this stuff does. What does the Steel Wand do? Yeah, sure. Now I want to use that on a monster. Ah, all right. Was it in here? Yeah. Let's give him directly one of our our right hand ring of protection plus seven. Yes. Now let's purchase. Oh, we can't do this yet. Let's go outside and drop our pick for a second. Let's purchase Ring of Protection plus 10, so we're getting 3 armor class on that. Yes, we'll buy that. Let's equip Ring of Protection plus 10, no, rather uh, wield, pardon me. Ring of Protection plus 10. Let's get this pick. Alright, so we've improved a little bit. It's been worthwhile coming here for that. Um, we can't just restore our stats. What else do we want to do up here? There were things. The 
fuck do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, I would love to get that sling identified, but not by giving it away, because we got to buy it back. I'm going to drop the sling in my home for now. I'm going to drop a few things in my home for now. Let's drop. Oh, that's not my home. This isn't my house. I'm drunk. Let's drop the gold ring. Let's drop the sling. Neither of which we will use until we until we can find scrolls of identify or buy them. Let's look for those, by the way, and see if they're in the stores now. Let's drop the potions of slowness. Don't need it yet. We don't need the potions of heroism either. Let's find out what the glowing mushroom does. We'll give that away. The rest of this for now, I think we're going to keep. Okay, uh, let's give him a mush glowing mushroom. Yeah, what does this do if we ever find one in the future? It's a f mushroom of fast recovery, which does what? When eaten, it heals 30 hit points, cures stunning, cures wounds, cures poisoning, cures blindness, and feeds you for 250 turns. Pretty sweet. Uh, what else do we want to do? We want to see if they have any scrolls of identify. Scrolls of remove curse. Might be all right. Might purchase a few of those right now. Let's purchase you. Let's just purchase four of them. Just so we have them on hand. Um, we may or may not have... Uh, we bought four scrolls titled Latu Sus, so maybe, it, maybe we also learned what it does. I don't know. Let's go into here again. Let's get the gold ring. Let's uh, read. No, we don't even want to do this. Drop the gold ring. We're also going to drop the uh, the scrolls we just bought. I just want to have them on hand in case, as you see, stock changes. If we come back to town and we're cursed and we can't get what we need, at least we'll have some here. Let's put in here things we could, we might be able to use in the future. He won't have it. Scrolls of identify. How can they be that hard to find? Maybe you have to find them. I don't know why. Maybe it has to make mages more powerful like, as, a, as a character. Let's purchase... Do we need to purchase our... No, we don't need to purchase our. We're good. I think that's it, guys. I think we're... I think we're done with everything we want to do here. Oh, shit. All right. Am I forgetting anything? We're carrying a lot of potions of killer wounds. Let's drop some of those off, because holy shit, we don't need fucking 22 of them. Drop D. Let's drop um, 17 of them. Yeah, we're, fine, we're a fine speed. We don't need 10 words phase doors either. Let's drop. F. 5. Alright. Let's read a word of recall. We'll play for another few minutes, guys, and then we're probably going to call it quits because I, I didn't note the time. You know what I'm going to do next time? It's going to be so clever you're going to shit your pants. I'm going to write down the time when I start a game. You just wait and see. It's going to be a glorious day. Okay, here we are in level 9. We are level 13, that's fine. It's got level feeling 3. The place seems reasonably safe. Reasonably. We don't have a, sp a spell of... What happened to our book? Did our book disappear? We have a holy book of prayers. Our spell points are so low because of our wisdom, there is no spell in the holy book of prayers, words of wisdom, that we can cast. That's what that is. We have to restore our fucking wisdom, guys. Eesh. Oh, we'll do what we can, I guess. What else are you going to do? Rod jelly, get away from that. What did we learn about it? It can touch to reduce wisdom. I did not know that. It wasn't the case in Moria, that's for sure. There are some surprises out here, guys. If you're used to Moria, be on guard. Touch to reduce wisdom. Jesus. A short sword. Don't need it. Oh, let's use our fucking, uh... Let's zap our rod of treasure location. Great. 
What are you? Green Snake? It's from level 9. It's from here. Don't know anything about his attack. Let's see if we can get close to it. Kill it. King Cobra, that was. <clears throat> That's alright. Is that a little dragon? Are we already meeting little dragons? That is a baby white dragon. So with its cold breath, it could shatter potions. Um, but we need to kill it. <laughs> we hit it, it breathes frost. One of my potions of cure light wounds was destroyed. Claws us. Just keep an eye on our health and shit. It's just a baby, but it doesn't change the fact that we're not that tough. We're feeling a bit good about ourselves, and we probably shouldn't be. Alright, we got it, and got some money out of that, too. Don't need much more to level up. At that point, we'll be able to see if your stats return when you level up. I can't remember if they do or not. There's a chance they do. That's what are we doing? Let's rest. All right, we're fully back with our measly seven spell points. Better than nothing, I guess. It's just a, oh, it's a, a copper wand on the ground. Um, what is that thing? It's a giant red frog. We do not want to mess with that. That can drain our strength. Let's try the, uh, let's try aiming our steel wand at it. The giant red frog is frozen to the spot. So that is a what? A wand of hold monster. Let's learn what we can about it. We don't have many charges left in it, but it's nice to know. Um, whoops. If you highlight, let's just press M. You just don't have to put it. Look, you just press the letter of it. It can be destroyed by lightning, like all wands. Uh, when aimed, it creates a bolt which attempts to hold monsters still. Okay, I don't know how long it'll last, but for now, let's just fucking fire arrows at it. Oh, fuck, I'm trying to move the. Uh back oh, I forgot about that longbow man so the way the bows work if we look at our uh, equipment um, not only is it a plus two plus three bow but you can see it is times two uh, because it's a short bow it means it doubles the damage our arrows so your actual damage from a from a missile weapon comes from the type of ammunition you're using so our standard ammunition only does 1d4 damage 1 to 4 damage but uh, because of the short bow because we're fighting with a short bow it would do 2 to 8 on average it adds uh, an extra three damage as well uh, because of it being a short bow. And if we were using the magic ammo, it would use it would add extra damage as well. But um, there you go. If we got that longbow, it would have been perhaps more effective. Let's get the copper wand. What is it? I think that as well is a, uh, a monster that can drain my strength. So let's zap it. Nope. Let's aim at it with the wand of hold monster. Good. Now let's zap it with a rod of light. Nope. That means let's back off. No, we can't back off. Fuck. Let's fucking uh, fire at it, I guess. H. It's moving again. Fuck.
Yeah, I got our strength again, man. Well, at least we're learning the properties of these monsters, because they are different than they were in uh, in the other game. Okay, we, we leveled up. Welcome to level 14. Let's see if magically our strength and wisdom go back. That'd be great. It would also be fine if they didn't. We, I'm not sure which I prefer from a gameplay perspective. You've remembered the prayer of slow poison. Okay, yeah, there you go. You feel less weak. You've remembered the prayer of portal. Okay, so when you go up a level, at least you gain your uh, your base stats back. Remember the prayer of sanctuary. You feel less naive. You have 33 arrows. Okay, that's good to know, man. Don't need those leather sandals. Let's see if there's a closer place to hack in over here. Again, the red the red frog drained our strength. The red naga drained our strength. Is it possible that this thing does as well? Let's just fucking shoot it with arrows. It's important to have a missile weapon in this game, I think. Is that a closet? That's a cave bear. What do I cue for for bear? I'm not sure. I mean, it looks kind of like a bear. Its face, I don't know. Oh, it's not on us. Let's shoot at it first. I'm playing a game of um, Far Cry Primal right now, and cave bears are about the most powerful animal you can meet in that game. So, a little bit hesitant when I see that, but we're okay. What is this guy? Oh, he's a... It's Wormtongue. Wormtongue, the agent of Saruman. Let's look at him. You can tell because he's purple, he's a unique guy. Uh, so our, our... We have something that would allow people... Sanctuary, that would put th people to sleep. It will not work on uniques. He's been spying for Saruman. He's a sniveling wretch with no morals and disgusting habits. This evil creature is normally found at depths of 400 feet and moves at normal speed. Killing this creature is worth 85.71 experience. That would be useful. For 14th level character, he can he can bash down doors. Nothing is known about his attack. Um, I'll tell you this as well. Um, oh, this isn't a rule. This isn't something I'm telling you that's of import. It's just an observation. Uh, in Angband, they've done their best to include like every every character that could even be considered a threat from any of the Tolkien lore is in here. If it's even mentioned in passing, they may have made up their own as well. But uh, then it ends up in here. So obviously, Wormtongue and Saruman and Sauron and all that kind of thing. Uh, matter of fact, you have to kill Sauron on level 99 before the pathway to level 100 to kill Morgoth will even open. So Sauron is a necessary boss. Um, but, you know, we saw, like, Fang and Grip. Those are just dogs mentioned in passing in uh, in uh, Fellowship of the Ring, and they're not evil, but because they were slightly scary to our hobbits, they become evil in the context of the uh, of this game. Let's just attack him. Let's just let's get out of look. Let's attack. I hit him. I miss him? Oh, I've got two attacks now. Or maybe not every turn. He makes obscene gestures. Well, fuck that. He humiliates me. Die, Wong Tong! He's not hitting me, at least. Let's just move a little faster with this. If we notice any status effects or our health... He did something that... It, uh, Worm Tongue Agent of Saruman insults your mother, and it looked like his health went up. So maybe when he insults us, he can cast spells too, apparently. He tries to make me move slowly, and I'm moving slowly. So we'll get less of it. We can see negative 10 on our attacks here. Uh, and on turn our slow speed, rather. So we're certainly not going to get multiple attacks per turn. We'd be lucky if we get even standard attacks per turn while this lasts. He took our money and ran. All right, let's go into... Okay, that's back. Let's go the last rest. He's on this uh, level somewhere, though. We'll, we'll find him and get our stuff back. I hear a door burst open. Jesus. I'm trying to rest. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought I was maybe not even using my dagger. I thought I was using my... All right, let's read... A scroll of satisfy hunger. I'm full. There's Saruman, or uh, fucking worm time. Pardon me. He got more of my. Sh he mooned me. He mooned me. This will not be stood for. Well, we'll get to him when we get to him. Got some arrows. Yeah, sure. Money. A topaz ring with a special enchantment that we don't know what it is yet. Let's grab that. Potions of poison. You know what? Yeah. 
We'll have to chuck him at a fucking worm tongue. I'll even use this next time we have to battle him. Just remember V to throw an item, like a potion. Oh, another new guy. Smeagol. Um, Let's throw a potion of poison at him. I can't, apparently. Throw which item? It's not even showing up. Oh, it's because we're looking at our quiver. How do we uh, hit this for inventory? Let's throw... Potion of poison. North. Your potion of poison hits Smaggle. It breaks. He shrugs off the attack. So we can, if we look down below at, our, at his stats down here, we can see. I don't even know if it says so, but it looks like he maybe maybe he's immune to this kind of thing. It says uh, what else does it say? He is invisible. Let's read our scroll of true seeing. We do have that, don't we? Raise a quaff. Let's quaff our potion of true seeing. Okay, so we can see him. Let's quaff a potion of Berserk Strength. Oh, I missed him. Like, literally, physically went the wrong direction. Therefore, I missed him. If we're going to fire at him from a distance, let's be firing better arrows. There's a puff of smoke. You quickly protect your money pouch. There's a puff of smoke. So we, we, we did uh, save that. I forget what skill. It might even be just your dexterity. The higher dexterity, the better you are at protecting your money pouch when people try that. But uh, So both both Saruman and... Uh, pardon me. Oh, fuck me. Something cackles evilly. Something casts a spell that put all these things on the, on the map here. There's a killer brown beetle up ahead and a large yellow snake. You stumble upon a trap. You hit a teleport trap. What the hell's going on? We can still see invisible. We're still full. You can see that in the bottom. But we're not going to be able to see invisible for much longer. Oh, here, there he is. Thank God. Let's fire a special arrow east. We're hitting him multiple times. Fire a special arrow east. He grunts with pain. Our eyes no longer feel so sensitive. He hasn't gone invisible right now, thank God. But if he does, we're going to lose him. Using my best non, non, you know, slay monster. I don't want to waste slay animal arrows on him. We're definitely over our time budget here. And I definitely don't care for the moment. I want to finish the, this guy off at least. Smaggle touches you. Uh oh. Your purse feels lighter. 621 coins are stolen. There's a puff of smoke. So he got away again. We got to track this son of a bitch down. Oh, is that him? Now it's Worm Tongue. Let's finish him off, too. He may have been the one who cast the spell that put all his traps in place. I don't know. He cast a Bolt of Frost. He creates a cloud of poison. You're poisoned. That sucks. Let's try and kill him as fast as we can. He got money again, damn it. Let's cast Slow Poison. All right, we're less poisoned. Let's rest. Oh, we can't. You can't rest while you're poisoned because it, it it keeps notifying you of hey, you lost health due to poison. And then, uh, okay, well there's Smaggle. It was a good hit. I guess it's a critical hit. Seems to me you can also do excellent hits. It was a great hit. There you go. It's even better. Oh. We killed Smaggle. All right. Get our money back. 
pair of worthless sandals. Whatevs. Can we find Wormtongue as well and kill him before this uh, episode's out? I know it's going to be a long episode. What are you going to fucking do, eh? There's all these monsters over here. There's our, still our target thing in there. There's Wormtongue. Firing my magic arrows at him again. We only use our magic arrows on people who are worth hitting with magic arrows, you know? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Fire. Or even, you know what? Let's throw a potion of poison at him. I don't know if he's immune or anything. Your potion of poison hit worm tongue, Agent. So you have three left. Uh, it breaks. He grunts with pain. I'll stab him. I need to kill him even though we're being attacked from two sides. We gotta kill him. He defiles me. What the hell did he do to me? He creates a cloud of poison. You're poisoned. The killer brown beetle drones are angry. So he casts like stinking cloud or something. It hurt the beetle as well at least. I don't like being tag teamed like this but the guy's right beside us and he's almost dead. Agent of Saruman starts closing wounds. He's casting a healing spell on himself. He looks healthier. He recovers courage. Son of a bitch, we almost had him. He tries to make me move slowly. He's, he's like, he's got, he casts like regeneration on himself. Let's kill the beetle if we can. Okay, let's, uh... Alright, let's read a scroll of Phase Door. You have, uh, he tries to cast a spell but fails. We're over here now. Not quite where we want to be, but, uh, <laughs> let's quaff D and quaff. He's fucking healing himself. Fuck, he got us both with poison again. Okay, at least we're only dealing with one guy now. Zap him with a rod of light. We're moving slower again, damn it. Firing my bow. Let's aim a wand of light at him. This we oh we don't need that, so he's beside us. I didn't realize he's beside us, sorry. Keep an eye on our fucking health, guys. This could go pear shaped very fast, especially given we're already poisoned. Curse feels lighter as a puff of smoke. Damn it, he got away again. I'm not going to finish this uh, episode until we kill him. Let's cast Slow Poison. Start gathering arrows while we wait. Stay off those traps if we can. No longer poisoned. Let's rest. There he is, damn it. We didn't have time to get fully healed, but at least he's on us. And we're no longer slowed. He got us again with a purse. Rest. There he is again. Got our money again. Gives me a chance to rest, though. Alright, we're fully back in terms of health. There he is. We've almost got him. He gives us a finger. That son of a bitch. He's fleeing. Allegedly. 
Sometimes it says they flee and they don't flee. I wonder if that's either because I'm moving faster than them or because uh, they flee in the direction that I'm standing. There we go. We got him. We feel something roll beneath our feet. What was it? A lucerne hammer with a special power on it. Let's grab that. Don't care about the sandals. We got all our money back. <laughs> let's rest. And let's call it there, guys. Um, There you go. We killed both Smeagol and Wormtongue. Not bad. Those are two bosses who will not plague us going forward. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'll be back again today because, like I said, I have aside from chores, I have to run around the house before I leave in, in I don't know, six hours or so. I don't really have a lot I have to do today. And, uh, my God, am I loving this. This is it's better than coming home. It's better than... Uh, it, it, it's, I'm enjoying it as much as I enjoyed Moria back in the day. Um, it's different, for sure. I, I, actually, I shouldn't say better. I don't know if it is better, but it's definitely got a lot more bells and whistles, that's for sure. And those are appealing to me at the moment. I hope they're appealing to you. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. A great. Uh, for me, you can see it in the bottom. It's Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve, retroactively. Um, but happy January, whatever the hell it is on this. I don't know, January 8th, January 9th. Um, when this will come out. All right, I'm actually going to stop, though, for now. File. Exit. It's saved. And there we are. 26, 8, 2. Killed by nobody. Yet. All right. Bye, guys.